Saved $200 from my food allowance left while husband was asleep. Due to inflation, I was able to save $200 and hide it in my tampon box from my husband. Tonight he was feeling a cold coming on so he took some NYQuil. I took the dogs, the cat and our daughter, rented a U-Haul truck and left. I've got no family left and no worldly possessions or experience or friends as we married at 18 and he didn't allow me to have outside connections I don't know what I'll do or where I'll go or do. I just needed to tell someone I'm gone. We're gone. No more removed name we are gone. Edit I never thought this would get traction. He didn't know I had read it as I would just browse and clear my cash history, I made an account to post because I wanted someone anyone to know I'm trying. I have no one and just want to pretend I had friends I could reach out to. To those asking for proof of abuse. I'm not uploading any images of myself. To those saying you can't rent a U-Haul at night. Yes, you can it's called Truck Share 24-7, the location was walking distance from our house. I brought the dogs for a walk if I got caught and with me if I didn't because I love them. Here is proof of the U-Haul. It wouldn't let me make it for 2.15 so I did 2.16 at 11.30pm and when I got there I chatted with them to claim I didn't know it booked the wrong day and the rep on the chat fixed it. To those saying I shouldn't have had a kid with him? Duh. But I did. To those saying he'll say I kidnapped our daughter? Maybe. I don't know I didn't think of that but he was mad she was a girl and has never done anything with her or held her played with her. So I doubt it. And to those giving me advice and being kind. You have melted my dark cold heart. So much I didn't know or would never think of thank you. Edit 2 This is overwhelming everything. I'm trying to reply and if I haven't yet, I will. I'm exhausted and overwhelmed so if I didn't reply to you yet, I will. Right now I am going to try to sleep since my daughter is and I'm running on empty now. The second wind has come and gone. Cheering you on. So proud of you person with praying hands. Depending on where you live, there's a hack for this. Find a woman's shelter, have them help you file for separation, and then sign up for community college. You can, assuming you're over 25, get the Pell. You will have to show your taxes, but you can file an amendment for being separated to get the Pell. This is how I got away from my ex and B got my BA. The fact that you had a food allowance speaks volumes as to why you had to leave. Stay strong, and take the advice of the other people on here. I read several comments and agreed with all of them. Congratulations and good luck. There will be difficult days but it will be worth it in time. Even if you have no support in your daily life right now, know that we internet strangers are cheering you on lots of love to you and your family. Waitressing you can walk out with cash in hand day anywhere in the world. Good luck friend be safe. If you have an iPhone or anything make sure all tracking locations are off, logged off find iPhone anything if you use any accounts that you absolutely, he has passwords to nuke M. IDK if he has your social or anything but if his vindictive maybe freeze your stuff and get alert so loans credit can't be taken out in your name with you knowing while I know that stuff doesn't matter when you are just trying to survive you don't want to maybe deal with the headache once you have your feet under you and your future bright. Hey, child of DV here. Leaving an abusive partner is the best gift you can give your daughter. It's hard and scary but always always better than being with your abuser. I wish you the best and highly encourage you to go to the closest women's shelter and take it from there. What you did wasn't easy, get out there and kick some ass. Call 211 and they will be able to direct you to resources like women's shelters, family shelters, homeless resources. Or check your nearest city's website they will have resources and help. The public library also has resources. Churches, synagogues, and temples will also often have help, food, and resources to help. Our homeless also has a sidebar over to the right with information and links to resources. You got this. The dogs, cat and daughter are probably already happier, and they will thank you. The strength this will continue to take is significant, man, but your first step was awesome congrats on your new beginning.
this is a huge step. This internet stranger is proud of you. You can do this. Stay safe and strong. I left my abuser with only a backpack my computer, a change of clothes, and my plushie from my childhood. I found help, and a few weeks later they mounted an expedition, went back to that place with me and got most of my belongings minor some he broke in his anger. I was exhausted, terrified and lost many important things, but I was alive, and I was free. Sister that I do not know, I'm with you. Continue to be strong, and one day the sun on your face will taste like joy. Don't waste your time on edits trying to prove anything anyone, you have a lot of stress, focus on the people offering help and support. Sending internet mom hugs, if you'd like them. Take care. Not sure if it's useful or redundant, but for orientation on trying to access all the resources mentioned in this thread, you should be able to call 311211 for referrals on all types of things. They'll provide you with numbers, emails, and addresses of all sort of places. Go and get a new track phone. The cheapest ones are about $20 and an activation card, maybe $10, depending on need. Activate it, and you can immediately get a new number. Then factory reset the original phone, keep it turned off, and remove the SIM card. Some programs can track phones even when turned off, and that's why you remove the SIM card. You could also make sure it's fully charged and turned on before tossing it into the luggage area of a Greyhound bus heading cross-country. A full charge might last a few days if nothing else is draining the battery. I left with half that and two kids. Life was is so much better. You can do this you are a strong woman. Please PM me if you have a hard time finding housing that can take your pets, too. I work at an animal shelter that helps domestic violence victims find temporary placement for their animals and might be able to help you figure out a plan. Assuming you're in the US, you can call 211 in the morning and they'll connect you with the social services you need. Great job so far and good luck OP. Big internet dad hug from me. You're badass and I'm proud you did this. Stay strong. Hey, OP, keep us in the loop how this is going and if there's anything we can do to help. Flee far. I know you say you have no family but reach out to a distant cousin or a like as this will be hard. The next two three days are to gain distance and contact support such as shelters and pro bono lawyers you'll need a lawyer because depending on how vindictive he is you'll potentially be on the run from the law also. Some states may grant an ex-party emergency custody agreement without notifying the other parent but typically it's not enforceable outside of that state. Stay safe and watch your back. Best of luck. If you need some help getting dog cat food, try asking some local shelters. Many animal shelters can offer assistance if you ask. Our local shelter regularly gets donations from the local Walmart and they reserve some of that to give to people in the community in need. Congrats it'll be hard but it'll be better. Stay away from him. Look into women's shelters and family shelters. Sign up for whatever benefits you qualify for. Accept all help you find and qualify for. Divorce him as soon as possible. Good luck. I walked out with my toddler sons on January 8, 2022 and I did have support from my parents, but it was still hard and the best thing I ever did. I'm very proud of you and can help you research resources for where you are if you would like the help. You're doing exactly what you should. Fuck every single person who walked in here to give you shit. My heart is with you and yours. I have no experience in this but I might be concerned about him reporting you as missing or even reporting you as having kidnapped your daughter. Something you should ask about, either at a shelter, counselor, or maybe someone here will have information, or Our Legal Advice Our Legal Advice Canada Our Legal Advice UK Our Legal Advice Europe Etc. You go, girl you got this. Hugging face hugging face hugging face hugging face hugging face hugging face. I don't know you but, I'm praying for you. In wishing you and your little one all the best. I pray that you will be safe and happy.